New tonight at 11, the Franklin County coroner is releasing new details about the death of eight year old Martonio Wilder. His mother, 32 year old LaShonda Wilder, has been charged with his murder. Wilder's girlfriend, 33 year old John Lowe, is charged with obstruction of justice. NBC 4's Jackie Gillis joins us now after reading through the coroner's investigation report. And we want to warn viewers up front here. The details are disturbing. Jackie. Jared and Jen, this report broke down what all occurred this past Friday after Wilder called 911 to report Martonio missing. It talks about how and where his body was found. And we're also hearing 911 calls made that day from Wilder herself. Please do not get a scoozy of my eight year old son away last night. This is one of two 911 calls LaShonda Wilder made on Friday, begging for police to come to her house on Olmstead Avenue. She says the last time anyone saw Martonio was Thursday night, right before everyone went to bed. She tells police she has no idea where he could be and isn't sure what he was wearing. Ooh. My back door was wide open. Oh, man. Oh, man. During the call, Wilder tells the dispatcher this isn't the first time Martonio has done something like this, but they've always found him. He had jumped out my window before I found him on the side of my house. He just keeps trying to run away. I don't know why. He said he hate me. He said he hate everything. He said he don't care if I be here. When officers arrived on scene, a search began. According to court documents, at one point, Wilder became uncooperative, leaving with Lowe and her other two children, the three and nine year old. This is what prompted the Friday night Amber Alert. Later in the evening Friday, according to the coroner's investigation report, first responders entered Wilder's home through the back, making their way to the second floor, where they observed an attic door. The attic is only about two feet high and is filled with dust and cobwebs. The only thing in it was a sleeping bag cover tied shut. EMS cut the strings and saw a black trash bag. All that could be seen was Martonio's hands, feet, and camo pants. The report says the body was cold to the touch, the house was 78 degrees. I also was shown photos from the coroner's office. It appears that Martonio was malnourished. And we do know that the Franklin County Children's Services was working with the Wilder family, but we don't know in what capacity. A spokesperson for Children's Services says that it can be tough to recognize the signs of child abuse and neglect, but a closer look at the situation may be warranted when signs appear repeatedly or in combination. We're going to have those posted on our website. Jen. All right, Jackie, thank you. Mm -hmm.